What's going on YouTube? Cash Productions here. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to retarget animations from Mectacore and then convert them inside of GTA. And by that, I mean animations from this website here called actorcore.realusion.com and this website has a large variation of all types of dope animations such as jogging animations parkours conversations fight poses etc etc now i highly recommend using my template that i made for blender called adjusted rig for actor and what i've done in this template is I matched the T pose from the dummy male skeleton from that website. And I've also rigged the dummy male skeleton inside of the GTA skeleton. Okay. So doing that allows me to retarget animations very, very efficiently. Okay. And using this template, all you have to do is just import the animation, retarget, delete keyframes. All right. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see which animations we're going to retarget today. We can retarget this one, the this free animation called Run to Blast, where this guy looks like he's just running. I believe he's running with a gun or something, then he just falls flat on his face. Let's go ahead and download that. And it's going to ask you to choose which robot to use I recommend the male robot click that click next target application blender FPS 60 download and this should be downloaded up here in a second it's right there all right open that extract It's the old version. Delete that. It'll be in here. Drag that up to downloads. This is what we're going to be retargeting. This right here. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and go to file. Import. FBX. Sorry about that. Downloads. Where is it at? Right here. Run to blast. Okay. Click that. Import FBX. Right? So, as you can see, we've successfully imported this animation. And it looks like a, a distorted robot or something. Like, look at it. Like, it obviously functions. So, that's just your animation. Alright? Now, when you're importing these animations in this, in this template, it's always going to be called Armature 002. Okay? That's what your animation is going to be called. All right. So, go all the way back. What you want to do is click this where you're able to move selected items. And go to this blue arrow that's pointing upwards. Left click this. And drag the animation all the way down to the GTA skeleton's foot. Drag it about like right there. All right. And the reason why we're doing this is because in this case, it really matters. And we want this animation to be grounded. All right. So we won't we don't want floating animations. OK, so go to animation. Let me see. Where is it? Let me play it. Where is he at? Mm, I'm, I'm going to play some a little bit lower just a little bit lower hold on we got armature click armature move him down just a little bit more I think that's good okay so he needs to be like at least a few centimeters below the GTA skeleton all right so the next step is to go up here to Rococo got armature click that Armature 002, click that. Target, control rig, click that. Head 00R, click that. Click build bone list. 
And if this is your first time retargeting Actor Core animations, I suggest you copy these names of these bones and then place them accordingly in these boxes. I'm going to scroll all the way down to where you could see all the bones that I have listed here. Just go ahead and copy and place all these bones listed here in the video. Okay. I was just going to scroll down. Pause the video if you need to. Okay. You can pause as I'm scrolling. All right. Yeah, make sure the bones are exactly as I have them here. All right. Okay, I'm going to keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I'm going to scroll very conveniently. Very conveniently. All right. Now, they're probably not going to be in, in the same lineup that I have here. They're probably not going to be in the same order. Your order might be different. And that's okay. That's fine, though. But they're all going to be listed here. Okay. So, once you've finished copying all of my bones. Okay. Now, we can't retarget just yet. Because there's a problem here. We have two identical bones. But, here's the thing. These are the correct bones for these. Alright. So, you always want to retarget this right here base bone roots you always want to retarget this before this okay so what you want to do is press x over here click that and then click retarget animation because it's not going to allow you to retarget duplicate bones all right so as you can see he's going to be down here that's okay that's what we want and then after we've already retargeted the base bone root click X on that and then add the scale root back to the hip all right then retarget animation and as you can see we have successfully retargeted the ectocore animation into the GTA skeleton all right now what you can do just go over here to armature 002 delete hierarchy right click delete hierarchy okay that's what I did all right so now let's add the entirety of this animations duration let's go down here scroll all the way to the right scroll all the way to the right I would say right around 112 of the ending frame you go go right here to where it says end left click put 112 that same number that you see right there that's the ending frame all right all right now the next step highlight this entire skeleton and then change the position this way you could face this way you could have the character face the correct way in GTA. So right click, mirror, X global, right click, mirror, Y global. Now the character is facing the correct way. Now, let's go ahead and go down, all the way down here. To FB tongue, click that. We go up here to where it says animation, click that. It's supposed to be blue if you did all the steps correctly. Go down to Dope Sheet, click that, go to Action Editor, change this name right here to Base. Alright, once you've done that, go to Layout, left Control, hold, hold the Control button on your keyboard, and then click all of these bones here, as I have listed here. All the way up to facial root. This that's where you stop. Alright. Okay. 
right click and delete keyframes down here through action editor right click all right now go up here to scale root left click click that and go over here to solemn tools click that go to create clip dictionary template click that all right go up here click that double click name it to run slip and fall face and it's going to be down here click the drop down menu click that click create clip create animation click the drop down menu double click this control c copy double click animation controls control v underscore anim for the clip double click control v underscore clip all right you can really name these whatever you like but i just like to name those animation and clip just because i want to know what i'm looking at all right so go here move this up a little bit go here click solemns double click this right here control c copy that name go down here to hash paste that name in that box okay frame count is always the exact number of the ending frame okay so 112 112 all right so the base is just going to be base all right and for here's the thing we're not going to add root motion because for some reason i cannot add root motion to these animations i have yet to figure that out on how to fix that problem because every time i try to add root motion the animation just doesn't play at all i don't know what's up with that but eventually in the future i'll probably figure that out but for now we're just gonna retarget this animation as is okay so you're done here now we go up under clips oh, click that double click control c copy and then paste it in both of these boxes here and here all right control v all right so duration the formula for the duration is is the ending frame divided by the frames per second of your animation which will equal the duration okay so the ending frame is 112 divide that by the frames per second of your animation which is 60 frames per second equal 1.86 seconds all right so then go down add a new animation link click that animation click this run slip all fall face underscore anim all right click that end frame one one two right here and you're done make sure you got everything you needed right here make sure you got everything okay now once you click this highlight this right click select hierarchy then go up here to export code walker xml click that limit to selected objects click this box and export it anywhere that you would like anywhere maybe a folder i'm just gonna export it on my desktop and then move over to my other computer all right export the code walker All right, now that we're on my desktop, let's go ahead and go into Code Walker. Let's open up RPF Explorer. And once you've done that, let's go to the same pathway as I always go for my new animations. Mods, 64C, Anim, Endgame, Clip, Melee. Now let's drag and drop that animation that we've just exported into this pathway. drag and drop it in there now let's go back into code walker and open up pet viewer 
Let's go ahead and search for that animation. It's called Run, Slip, All Fall Face. Click the clip. And as you can see, it works. Fully functional. You've successfully retargeted your first Actacore animation. Awesome. Great job. You can call it a day after that. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.